I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Katrina and Dominic. How are you doing, bro? Very well, thank Very well, you. Sir, yeah. uh, well, on Tuesday night, I had the pleasure of watching your beautiful production, and I'm just like taken away at how amazing it was. So, for you, what has it been like to work on this production? It's been great to come back to, hasn't it? Yeah, we, we, we both did it before, and um, when it was announced it was coming back, it was exciting to be uh, part of it again. It's, uh, it's a great show. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't know if I'd ever be doing it again, to be honest. So it, was, it was nice that I got to perform in it again. Brilliant. And what is it you love both about your characters? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take this one. So, um, uh, well, I play Aurora um, and also one of the fairies, but I'll, I'll may mainly focus on Aurora. Um, she's so much fun to play. She's so like free-spirited and wild and not your like, stereotypical Disney princess, I guess. So that's really fun to like sort of flip, um, yeah, flip that on its head a little bit. And yeah, just as she's sort of always running around in bare feet and that's just that's so like yeah. nice to be like wild and free on stage. It's yeah, really fun. Does she feel like your kindred spirit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when family have come to watch, they were like, "That's you as a child." <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I think um, there's definitely like you get to bring a little bit of yourself, I guess, to the to the role as well. So yeah, I think there there is definitely like a a small part that's yeah. myself, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> How about yourself, Dominic? Um, I like the the mystery around Count Lilac. Um, cause he's he's obviously the good uh, fairy versus the evil fairy, but he's a bit more um, ambiguous in places, and um, it, he just plays a really uh, interesting role in the story, you know, and, uh, and part of the twist to help Aurora have her true love, which I enjoy. No spoilers, I was trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you find being part of the uh, Matthew Bourne twist on things? Yeah, great. <laughs> it's always something that uh, you think, how is he going to do this or spin this? And his vision is always uh, something that I would never think of. You know, he's incredible. But that's why he's Matthew Bourne, I guess. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's lovely to hear like the audience reaction, yeah. you know, and like, Especially at the end of oh actually no I shouldn't say that I should have spoilers. Just at the end of the act. Yeah. <laughs> end of the act, yeah. yeah. There's like a an ooh and ah. Yeah, there's all there's always a reaction, isn't there? That you can hear that pe like people are just not expecting. That's yeah. always that's nice to hear that. Yeah. So and you're here at the Theatre Royal in Newcastle for two weeks almost. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what is it you live about at this uh, beautiful venue? Yeah, well, the audience are they're very close to the stage here, which is re I really like that because you feel like you can really sometimes you can really see people's faces and it feels like they're really involved. And I like that you can really hear their reactions and things. And it's I mean it's really gorgeous as well here, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. Dominic, I know you've been at New Adventures for a while. So um, when you first came into it to where you are now, how do you think you've uh, grown and growing in confidence and I guess self-identity as a as an actor yeah exactly that um I couldn't act to be honest with you when I, first joined the company. I remember uh my first show there's points in a scene it was in uh, the Soho scene in uh, Swan Lake actually and I'd just get a note from Matt or Scott Amber at the time, and just you'd be the club owner, but I see you're over in this area with your mobile phone and this, yeah. and then this character comes in and you do that, and I was just like, they, they just kind of went, and you've got like a few eights, just yeah. do something, and I remember just standing there being petrified, going, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I never thought that I would um, be playing <laughs> roles in this company for so long and big roles and you know proper proper character acting um so that that's nice that i managed to <laughs> pull that out uh it was a i think it was a v very mentored by matt and the, the roles i got given and the challenges uh have been incredible like uh, and that's why i'm still here i think still getting challenged luckily <laughs> um e either in this prediction or other predictions what have been some of the moments that have made each of you laugh Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's 
too many. Yeah. <laughs> um, I count those times. Yeah. To be honest, it's probably when you shouldn't be laughing. Is it? Well, it's that, isn't it? You've yeah. got to, you've got to not. You got to, because things will happen. Like, yeah. But those crazy are all, things that you just pretend haven't happened yeah, until you get off those stage. Those are always the hardest. Put it so, away. Yeah. And don't let the audience know that that person's not supposed to be like. I don't know, fallen on their face, or yeah. Yeah. I don't know, their costumes just fallen down, or <laughs> it could be any anything. Somebody just run into like yeah. the set. Yeah, normally things that go wrong, basically. Yeah, is, uh, always, the, always. Yeah, the you just, you just got to pretend it's meant. <laughs> that's that's the skill. Now you both wear like amazing outfits uh, uh, during uh, the production. Um, how long does it take you to get ready? <laughs> oh, uh, I got it down to about an hour, I think, because yeah, it's wigs as well. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I so for a seven thirty show, I will get ready at six o'clock on the dot. So and then I'll only just be ready to go down stage at beginners. So like a good hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So um, mm. so when when you are uh, all all in your costume, does at that point does it feel real that it? That you're going back on stage. Yeah, when you come down, usually like ten minutes before the show. When you're, for me, it's the wigs, the, the fairy wings, the, mm -hmm. the makeup, and you're practicing some, some moves that you're going to do. <laughs> That's yeah. when it's real. You know? Yeah, it does. It does change you. You feel different, like the way you carry yourself. Suddenly, as soon as you've got the wig and the costume on, you, it, yeah, you, you're sort of right. It's, it's, it's happening. It's, it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, obviously, like Sleeping uh, Beauty is like a long, like many people have grown up uh, knowing about this story. But doing it through the gaze of Matthew Bourne has it helped you look at it differently? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I think I only knew the Disney one really mm -hmm. as yeah. the famous one, and obviously with our research, we had to do some darker, like the grim mm -hmm. version, or more the ballet as well. I was, I was not as familiar with the ballet as some of the other Tchaikovsky stuff we've yeah. done, actually. Um, I realised I'd never looked at the ballet as a, as a whole story. Yeah. I, just, you know, I knew the ballet really well from like the individual solos or the main duets, yeah. but not as like yeah. a whole. Yeah. I'd never considered it as a whole you know, piece. No. But, um, and I think this one's got a lovely, Through real story. You know, obviously, it's, fairy, <laughs> it's still fairy tale, but it, yeah. you know, it feels like something relatable, doesn't it? Like, um, so when you yeah. see um, much more a diverse audience coming to check out the shows, um, especially at beautiful venues such as this, how does that make you feel as a performer seeing like any generation mm -hmm. getting behind the arts? It's, yeah. it's nice, I always think that. Also, it's nice to see what's reflected in the audience, what's reflected on stage, yeah. and I think it's it's great for both ways for for the cast to see yeah. people like them of their age or yeah. their background and vice versa having that representation is so important for the future and for people to go into dance or acting mm. or arts or whatever because it can be seen as something that's not attainable for some people you know yeah. Boom. and and have you had the chance to check out any of the feedback either for the overall production or even to your characters have we i don't know i mean i try sometimes i try not to look because <laughs> <laughs> unless i get tagged in it on social yeah. media because then it'll be good hopefully yeah, yeah i don't hopefully. go looking for yeah. reviews yeah. or anything <laughs> but um people that have spoken to yeah. me at stage door yeah. or yeah, yeah. at yeah. the opening night drinks were very positive so that's nice <laughs> but you know Vice versa, we were very positive about coming back because it's you know a great venue for us. So for anyone who hasn't yet seen the production or any future ones that you've got coming up, uh, why why is it a good opportunity to get behind these shows? Uh, just because it's entertainment. I think you come and sit for a couple of hours and don't think about anything else, and you can you can actually actually not saying that other <laughs> pieces you can't understand the story yeah. but I I know 
dance and stories and I've studied them and stuff and I've even read a program and then I've watched stuff and I'm like yeah. what's happening here and that, it takes me a while whereas this is not that you, you fully understand it and Matthew's great at incorporating comedy and drama and things that aid that story and suck you in it's very clever and also the, the, the obviously the choreography <laughs> Tchaikovsky yeah. the, like you said the costumes the set yeah. everything the design is uh, there's something for everyone incredible yeah really it, whatever you, you're into if, if you're yeah. into Tchaikovsky obviously you're going to love it because mm. it's a great score um, awesome so for the next generation of emerging um, talent uh, what uh, words of encouragement from your own experiences would you share with them about like starting their dream? Mm. Mm. I think if you if you love it that will lead the way. Yeah. It's, it's a bit cheesy isn't it but <laughs> I think it's true though you have to really love this to you know for to make a career out of it so it's, it's really challenging it's really hard but it's so rewarding and it's so worth it. Mm. Brilliant. Just, just no, it's not, not don't take it seriously but it's not like I just think enjoy it mm. and do it because yeah. you enjoy it and then it's and as long as that's there yeah exactly if the, if the passion's there then yeah. you're happy I think mm. well um, it's been a pleasure speaking to you both um, so you're here until the 29th of April yeah um, uh, if, if there's one thing uh, that you're most grateful for what would it be one thing I'm most grateful for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know the the opportunity that I've had yeah. to mm -hmm. do something I've loved for so long. I think I was kind of, I was trying to think of just one, and I yeah. <laughs> tried to narrow down, and then I was going off other ways. But yeah. I just thought I, that I was lucky enough to find myself in this company in this position yeah. you know it might not have happened and there's so many other ways it could have gone yeah. for, I me. Think for me my body's still letting me do it <laughs> <laughs> grateful that yeah it's um it's still in one piece at the moment so yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully well, for a few more years it will be <laughs> <laughs> well on that note thank you so thank much you. both of you and i wish you all the best thank, thank you, you. <laughs>